What's up guys? We just got back from our last trip of 2023 and it was a year full of adventures. So that's why in this video we're going to share top travel experiences and moments. We hope you enjoy it. This year was filled with incredible adventures as we embarked on a journey across 12 countries. We spent about half our year in Southeast Asia, exploring Thailand, Malaysia, Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam. The rest of our year was divided between the US, Canada, and some countries in Europe. In this video, we share our top 10 travel experiences and moments of 2023. Join us as we dive into unforgettable memories. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. We're kicking things off with one of our more recent adventures in Vietnam's Ha Long Bay. We set sail through the iconic limestone karsts, cruising on the emerald waters for two days. The views left us in awe as we marveled at the garden of islands that were formed over centuries. We visited a beautiful cave, hiked to a viewpoint on a little island, and kayaked through a hidden lagoon. Besides the many activities, we also simply enjoyed relaxing and taking in the views. To cap off our adventure, we spent a few more days on Kat Ba, which is the largest island in Ha Long Bay. This peaceful island offers beautiful beaches, caves, a lush national park, and stunning views of the smaller islands that surround it. It was the perfect getaway from the busy mainland. Within the towering mountains and sparkling lakes of Montana's Glacier National Park, we discovered a hiker's paradise. Our hearts were content as we trekked through pristine wilderness. Our favorite trails included Cracker Lake, the Highline Trail, and Grinnell Glacier. In fact, Grinnell Glacier made it to the top of our list of all-time favorite day hikes, as it's absolutely stunning from beginning to end. You venture along colorful lakes, alpine scenery, waterfalls, wildflowers, and many viewpoints. Glacier National Park quickly became our favorite park in the entire U.S. <music> Cambodia has some of the most intriguing history and culture in all of Southeast Asia. One place we enjoyed in particular were the temples of Angkor Archaeological Park. This park covers an area of over 400 square kilometers and is home to the remains of different capitals of the Khmer Empire, which flourished from the 9th to the 15th centuries. As we explored the ancient ruins, we were captivated by the intricate architecture and rich cultural heritage. It's often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world, and we couldn't agree more. It's one of the most impressive archaeological wonders we've seen during our travels so far. One of our favorite temples was Taprom. This is one of the coolest temples that you'll find in the park because it's really encapsulated by the jungle. You can see trees like growing out of it. It's crazy. The Canadian Rockies will always have a special place in our heart, as we visited many times when we lived in Canada. We actually spent the summer of 2020 in Canmore, and explored many trails in Kananaskis and Banff National Park. But Jasper National Park was more unknown to us back then. It's the largest national park in the Canadian Rockies, home to magnificent towering peaks, crystal clear lakes, breathtaking glaciers, and an abundance of wildlife. Some of our favorite sites in the park were the Valley of the Five Lakes, Whistler's Mountain, Mount Edith Cavill, Moline Lake, the Bald Hills, and the lakes just outside of Jasper Town site. This year, we also encountered many elk as it was rutting season.
A thrilling experience awaited us in Laos's Nam Khan National Park as we nestled into a jungle canopy and spent two nights in a magical treehouse. Far away from the noise of any cities or towns, we immersed ourselves in the symphony of nature. The only way to get to this treehouse was by a combination of zip lining and hiking in the forest. It was the most unique place that we've ever stayed at. We really enjoyed participating in this tourism-based conservation program, which helps protect the forest and support the livelihood of the communities that live in the park. On our way to Malaysia, we stumbled upon a hidden gem in Thailand known as Kolipe. This pristine island paradise greeted us with turquoise waters, white sandy beaches, and a sense of pure tranquility. It was a spontaneous detour, fueled by Ina's border denial to Vietnam. At the airport in Phuket, her passport was seen as damaged by the local authorities because of a small tear on the back page. As such, we took a boat from Phuket in Thailand to Langkawi in Malaysia, and the boat made a one-day stop in between at Kolipe. So the setback actually led us to a slice of paradise that we never would have discovered otherwise. It's our favorite island in Thailand, and it's so tiny that you can easily walk from one end to the other. After our unforgettable wedding in South Lake Tahoe in May, we set off on a road trip across some of the most scenic states in the US. In the desert landscapes of Utah and Arizona, we were fortunate to witness breathtaking sunsets alongside our friends. From the otherworldly Bryce Canyon to the majestic Horseshoe Bend and the iconic Monument Valley, we immersed ourselves in the raw beauty of the Southwest. We laughed, shared stories, and created memories that will forever hold a special place in our hearts. We heard that Monument Valley is especially really beautiful at sunset, and there's also some amazing stargazing here, so that's why we decided to camp here tonight. One of the most beautiful places we visited this year was Khao Sok Lake in Thailand. Surrounded by lush greenery and towering limestone cliffs, we felt a deep sense of peace and serenity here. We went on a three-day tour, delving into the wilderness in search of wildlife. Our evenings were spent in floating houses on the lake, where the soothing sounds of gibbons greeted us each morning. We went on numerous wildlife safaris by boat, hiked into the forest, explored a cave, went swimming, and kayaked in the lake. We felt rejuvenated and at peace after our visit here. In Laos, we embraced the spirit of adventure as we drove the exhilarating Takek Loop. Taking our motorbike through rugged karst landscapes and winding roads, we discovered caves, natural springs, and authentic Lao life. We felt surrounded by the beauty of the untouched countryside. On our last day of the loop, we took an adrenaline-packed challenge at the rock. The Takek Loop was an unforgettable journey that unlocked the essence of Laos and rewarded us with breathtaking moments at every turn.
Finally, we explored the lush Sabah, which is located on the island of Borneo in Malaysia. Borneo is home to some of the most unique and rare wildlife in the world. This is because the island is still largely covered in tropical rainforests. It's one of only two natural habitats for the orangutan, with whom we share about 97% of DNA with. On a three-day Kinabatangan River safari, we were fortunate enough to spot this creature. In fact, we spotted the entire Big Five of Borneo, which consists of orangutans, proboscis monkeys, pygmy elephants, crocodiles, and hornbill birds. It was a moment that will go down in our top travel memories forever. Thank you so much for following our adventures this year. Of course, there are a lot of other great memories we made that we didn't share. You can find all the destinations in separate videos on our YouTube channel as well. We'll catch you in 2024.